Hey, what's going on there, friends? My name is m 2 8 and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for, for the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, last time off, um, we uh, did a lot, actually. No, I'm not sure if we did all well. Actually, that's definitely that. Well, we definitely didn't do a lot in the last episode, but in the last recording, I did a lot. But basically, um, we restored lights in the tw uh, from the uh, well. Yeah, we restored lights from the Twilight Zone of Hyrule Castle and um, uh, and um, um, uh, like Hylia. And uh, now in this part, uh, we are going to um, make our way back to. Um, uh, Harrow Castle to go see Ilya to see how she's been. Um, and, uh, what I, and we also learned a new skill, which is what I just demonstrated, which is very awesome, so, um, alright. Hey! Let's get out a good impression, but, uh, oh well. Uh, alright. So, uh, you, you, so you got two letters for me this time around. Let's see what those two letters are. Oh, your pants are short, man. You get bigger pants for once in your life. That was kind of mean, but uh, basically, uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, take a uh, take a look at these letters here. It's good stuff inside. Finally, we finish uh, production on a new type of bomb. Of a new type of bomb. These ones can be used in the water. We we have them in stock now. Come by and pick yours up. All right. Well, thanks, Barnes, for your uh, oh, nice generosity. Okay, and then here's one from the Lanero Tourism. Uh, it says the Lanero Tourist Association has prepared a grand tour of natural splendor. Our current main attraction is Iza and Henna's playground for grown-ups. You'll find both. You'll find both immediately down the riverbank from the Zor water uh, waterfall po waterfall pool. Um. Isa's rapid ride. Shoot at targets while riding the raging river rapids. No extra charge for using bomb arrows. Uh, Henna's fishing hole. It's a fight against nature with lure fishing. What kind of fish you can you you can catch? We look forward to seeing you there. Oh my God. Well, we'll, we'll deal with those later. For right now, um, we're just gonna continue onwards to see what we what, what we got. Do 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 do. Nighttime music is pretty uh, eerie for a nighttime music. Then again, in Ocarina Time, there was no nighttime music at all. Neither did Majora's Mask. Hold on, I just went through. Uh, whatever. If I already went through this way, there's no. Uh, I can't turn turn back. Otherwise, then I'm, I'm giving myself more loading screens than I than I should. Uh, so basically, um, uh, well, where Ilya is right now is well, we just approached her back in the Twilight Zone. I'm calling it the Twilight Zone because Twilight, the movie Twilight. I've never seen it before, but I just know that it's about the Twilight Zone. And it's about some girl liking a vampire. That's all I know. That is a Zora child. This is beyond my experience. Hmm. Whoa, excuse you. You have a really weird looking face. Yeah, get out of here. I don't want to see your face again. If something isn't done, this child will... Hi, Ilya. Hi. What? What? You're not going to say hi? But, don't you know me? It's me, your buddy. A human doctor won't do. Oh my. Could that possibly be the Zora Prince? That that, uh, sp that that, um, Spear was talking about? A shaman in Kakariko lands? Hmm. Gorons and Zoras. Inadvisable, too dangerous. But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need either. Uh, what? Are you guys trying to? What are these guys doing? It 
Two planes that are each infested by dangerous beasts. Are you sure? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. How did the other four soldiers disappear already? Got one young swordsman left. But it looks like this brave man will escort us, so get ready to go, huh? Hmm. How did you not notice I came in through the door earlier? Why, yes, I do. She can't remember her own name? Wait, what happened? Did that arrow that that one guy shot at her, like, cause her to- cause her amnesia or something? If so, that's a- that's an utter bullcrap. You do have a really cute cat, though. Oh man, looks like that guy's returned. Across the bridge to the west. But here's a problem. If we cross, if we try to cross that bridge, that guy is gonna be in the way. He's gonna interfere with your travels. Here's a really cool thing right here. It, it the camera just like suddenly we're just here. It's like how does how does that happen right there? How, like I don't I don't know how that makes any sense. I will never in all my life forget your kindness. Really? Okay, then how did you how did you already forget me? You're that person who always takes care of Epona for me. This swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild like a feral beast. Um, okay. Oh my god. What's up with- what's up with most Zelda games? How like, most female, uh, character- uh, most female NPCs, like, just have that particular interest in Link. I don't get it. Anyway, so what we want to do here is, well, for right now, all you gotta do is make it to the bridge, as of right now. We'll, we'll do more stuff later, but for now, just make your way this way. Also, hold on, something's not right. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, wait. There we go, alright, that's much, that's more like it. Uh, that, way I'm not, that way I'm not using up too many bombs here. Because you actually want arrows here. Hello there. It appears that we meet again. This time you have two shields, huh? Haha, <laughs> not a problem. Alright, here we go. Ready? Alright, so this time around, uh, you can't really spin attack him to do to deal any damage. So here's what you, what you have to do here. Go ahead and get out your arrows. Oh, this is going to be harder to see at night. Alright. Boom! Alright, shoot two arrows at him and that's it. Just like that. Um, a little fun fact, if you run out of arrows, you can go ahead and go back to the wagon, and, uh, she will, uh, actually give you a full supply of arrows. It's 
So we got the gate keys to Kakariko, which will be important. All right, and now the real thing, and now the real journey begins. All right, hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna actually uh, this. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. So now, so here, so here comes the real fun right here. We are. Uh, so this time around, uh, we got enemies that are going to um, attack. They're going to try to take down the wagon. So you want to be sure to protect the wagon as much as you can. Uh, so what I would, what I like to do here is I just like to go. Is, is I like to make sure I'm not too far ahead. Oh, you also want the boomerang for this, which actually, you know what? There we go, that's much easier. I like that, I like my boomerang on that button better. Um, if the wagon catches on fire, be sure you use your boomerang on it, because it's a gale boomerang, and gale boom boomerang has wind. So, that's all, that's, and then, uh, if there are any enemies, if then, if there are any enemies, go ahead, go ahead and take, go ahead and take them out. Um, also, uh, there are also gonna be birds as well, so you can easily take out birds with arrows. Or if they get low enough, you can go ahead and use your sword and oh my god, get on. Alright, right, let's go. And that's uh, pretty much all you need to know. Oh, they actually stopped away from me. That's actually, that's actually pretty nice. So I go ahead and stay on the path here, and there's a bird. So, uh, ow. Oh, oh, okay. So if you, so, you, so for long distances, you can go, you can go ahead and attack, you can attack these enemies, uh, like this. Um, and, uh, they usually, and they usually, and they go down one hit, always. Uh, except if you're using, except if you're using the sword. Oh my god, what happened there? Alright, so that's what, so if they actually get hit like that, then uh, they will actually go off the path, and you'll and you're, and uh, they'll have to take a, a large 360 around around uh, to, to get back on the path. Ooh, what the heck? Okay, so that's a uh, so for the most part right here, just protect them as much as you can. Otherwise, then or, or, otherwise then uh, it's gonna take them longer than than, than than they need to get back to get over to Kakariko. Yeah, sometimes your arrows won't always hit because the birds just move way too fast. Okay, I actually did not know that that happens. Okay. Get over here! Jesus Christ, dude. Alright. I need to go ahead and uh, protect, uh, protect these guys. Alright, there we go. For some reason, um, uh, uh, for some reason, the Gale Boomerang uh, takes down pretty much all of their, um... Well, the Gale Boomerang just uh, takes down pretty much the entire, all the fire. Okay, alright, I'm gonna go ahead real quick. Oh, never mind. Also, yeah, be careful. Also, yeah, like what like Minna mentioned, be careful with the you know, birds, because the birds uh, throw bombs in here, and oh my god. Ugh, this is, this is annoying. Oh, I don't think I've ever struggled this much. Alright, um... Oh, the boomerang's not working. Alright, there we go. Thankfully, though, kill it. sometimes we kill these guys, uh, you get some air you do get arrows out, out of that. Okay, okay what? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you down. Get out of here. What the fuck is going on, man? Dude, I've never- dude, I've never had this much trouble right, right, right now. This is just unreal. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, now, okay. Once you get pat, all right. There we go. All the hard stuff is over. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. And I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and save you. And we should actually be almost th uh, there now. The rest of the path is pretty much straightforward. It's just getting rid of these enemies right here. Get out of here. Okay, never mind when I said that this path was straightforward. Okay, there we go. Alright, we made it. Alright. Get out of here. Alright. So then after that, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, uh, ow, get out of here. After that, go ahead and, um, uh, open up the gates, and oops, I was going on one, on the enemy's horse instead. Oh, my bad. Didn't want to be a betra- didn't want to be a traitor. But there we go. So that's, so that's that done. Oh my god, alright. 
Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, th that never give, gave me trouble at all in practice. Ugh. I can see the knowledge grieves you. It must be an awful memory. Oh, that's nice. He's trying to comfort Ilya. I'm sorry to put it, but yes, it is true. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already that you've already displayed. And then Colin just gets really excited. Yeah, if you say so. Why, well, yes, I get. I uh, of course. A group trying to do what it can. You're a member of that group, huh? Telma. There's a passageway that leads to the castle from in there, huh? Alright then. Okay. That's nice. But please don't call me honey. I don't like that. It's kinda weird-ish. How I've only known her for like, what, five minutes or so? And then, and then she already just calls me honey. But then that's like, but then that's what it's like at my other, but then that's what it's like at, um, during, um, class. This one girl calls me babe. And just, and it just feels weird. Anyway, we just gotta follow her. We saw her spirit here, so we just gotta go ahead and, um see what she wants. Apparently she's leading me to the graveyard. What for though? Do 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 You don't have always yeah you don't have to have to exactly follow her. You gotta just pretty much know where she's going. What is that? Whoa, what? Is that even possible? What the heck? Am I just dreaming? Or is that actually my eyes seeing that? Well, let's see what's going on over here. Whoa! What kind- what part of the graveyard is this? I am deeply grateful to you for aiding my uh, my son in, in his time of need. 
You are right to bring him here. Kakariko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. The husband and wife, King Zora, also rests the spirit here. Oh, King Zora died from Ocarina of Time? Dang. Sheesh, I wonder how he died with, with you. Garment specifically for the chosen hero. Ooh. Hello. What is this? Ah ha ha. Zora armor. You'll be vulnerable to fight. You you'll be vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Oh. At least I can join the king in slumber. My son knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. And also tell him not to be fat like, t like King Zora. <laughs> What do you mean am I forgetting something important? Alright, the last fuse shadow. Oh, don't worry, I didn't forget about that. Gee, you're so into that. You're so obsessed with fuse shadows. Like, hello? I'm trying to do other things besides getting fuse shadows. I'm pretty sure you can save the world without getting fuse shadows. Alright, if you say so. But right now, I'm currently busy with other things. Alright, anyway. Uh, so go ahead and, uh, with this newly found, uh, Zora armor. Uh, guess what? Look, look at that. Look at how awesome Link looks now with this, with this cool thing. And then you can go ahead and, uh, swim in the water. Which is, uh, very cool. You have infinite air in the water. Which is also very, which is also very awesome. Yeah. Uh, can I not get out of the water? There we go. Alright. Alright, then. I wonder if I can just wear this throughout the, uh, throughout the whole time. Yeah, Link looks pretty cool. Can I, like, wear this for the rest of the game? That'd be so cool. So, it said I'm vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Does that mean I'm... I take more damage when I'm on fire or on ice. If that's the case, then that sucks. Um, there is one particular item that I forgot to get, and I'm gonna go get it right now. Go ahead and go to Mallow's shop right here. And uh, buy this, which is 100 rupees. Thank god I barely, I barely have enough. I'm gonna have to do some rupee grinding because I am low. I am very low on rupees. So hopefully I'm able to actually find some place to get rupees. But well, then again, I did miss out on that 100 rupee chest. So. Ugh. That's a shame. Got to look for some other ways to get to get some rupees. Why is there invisible wall? Uh, is there invisible wall like this? Oh, like right underneath that um, uh, tent or whatever, whatever that is. You anyway, go to Barnes Bombs here, and you'll see. Hey. Take a peek at this. I finished my water bombs. The these little fellows are so advanced you can even use them in the water. No, really, they're called water bombs. Alright, so these things are 30 rupees. It looks like your bomb bag has some sort uh, has some other bomb in it. So yeah, so that pretty much means that we gotta pretty much get rid of our uh, bo our uh, bo our bombs that we have in our bomb bag. So go ahead and go over here, and uh, he'll say, 
uh, that um, he'll pretty much uh, give you rupees for however many bombs that you ha that you have, and then you go ahead and trade it for, and then you can trade it for other bombs uh, such as the water bombs. Uh, but I'm not gonna really deal with that right now, so that's uh, something that I want to show off right there. Okay, so I'm. All right, let's see where we're at here. Okay, well this might be a short, a bit of a shorter episode. Okay, maybe that's not short to you guys, but it's, but it is kind of short to me. But yeah, especially when I have to when I'm got to cut out those mishaps uh, during that trail. But oh well. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode of The Legends of the Twilight Princess. Next time, I'm gonna go ahead and do some other things that uh, we that are now open up for us. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.